What's going on everybody? It's your boy Payne. Welcome back to another Reverse 1999 video. And we have brand new events to talk about. If you have not logged in in a few days or in a while, this might be a good time to actually start playing the game again. Winter Special Events Overview. There's a brand new event going off from December 23rd to January 6th and it's going to be bringing quite a bit to the game. So complete the main storyline to be able to access it. Event time, as we mentioned, is the 23rd to the 6th. Event intro, log in for day one to get 60 clear drops and lighten two uh, times five for your side cubes. Uh, log in day two, you get jar of uh, candy, limited time, and liquefied terror. Jar of three, Lord of Snowy Season, which I believe is probably going to either be... I should have to check what that is. I'm assuming either a side cube, or it's going to be a... Uh, wilderness um item that you can put on your actual wilderness I'll have to double check that one more clear drops uh tome of starlight ascent uh, more candy for limited time uh clear drops again tome of plantel uh, vimen jar of prism candy and more clear drops an invitation from the water also is going on so this is going to be a limited time summoning event which is going to include quite a bit of different units so uh, so during the event period, 40 summon guarantees one golden thread. You may unravel the golden thread to select one six-star character as follows. Golden thread one is Druvis three, uh, Anan Lee, Sotheby. The golden thread two is Centurion, Medicine Pocket, Miss New Babel, Eternity. And golden thread, sorry, that was two. Golden thread three is A Knight, Lilia, Voyager, or Regulus. So this is kind of a big deal for a lot of people. And the reason why this is a big deal is because... If you are missing a key part of your six star units for a team you're trying to build, this is the perfect time to do it because it is a selector, which means you get to choose who you want. So for example, for me personally, I'm still trying to build a poison team. So I want to get Jessica. I definitely want to get Sotheby and I want to use Rabies as my um, main three poison units, right? And because I already have Rabies portray maxed out on my challenge account as a free to play player, fairly easy to do. Um, my next step is going to try to get Sotheby, of course, for off healing and damage, and especially with the poison stacking and an instant poison damage as well, too. And then, of course, Jessica for main damage DPS with poison. Um, so those three are still going to be big. So the, the Golden Thread 1 is where I'm going to be focusing on. Now, I don't know if this is going to be, if I'm going to have enough to do all of this, because I want to have so they be, but I also want to get Jessica, but I don't have enough for 40 summons, so I don't know how this is going to work. So I'm going to try it out to see what happens. Um, I'm hoping we can still pull before the 40, but we'll see. So here's how this works. Well, I guess they're going to explain it here. This is a special event which follows directly uh, different rules from other events. After the event, the guaranteed countdown will be cleared and will not carry over to other events. Okay, so that's a big thing to notice. There will be no carryover for this, so no pity carryover. Uh, the six-star character cannot be directly summoned from the event. 40 summons guarantee one of the golden threads. The Golden Thread 1, 2, or 3 share the same summon rate. You can perform up to 40 summons in this banner. Once you have obtained one of the Golden Threads, the banner will be closed. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, hold on. So don't we get to choose? The Golden Thread will expire simultaneously with the event. Please select your 6-star character. Okay, so please select. So you get to choose before you summon. Okay, that's good. So that makes sense. Um, so hopefully it says you can get it before the 40, but the 40 guarantees you the one you decide to choose. So there you guys go. You cannot go all three. You have to choose one. You can perform up to 40 summons in this banner. Once you obtained one, yeah, one of them, it closes. Okay. So be very careful what you decide to go with. A lot of people are probably going to go with Voyager. Um, I would assume Eternity is out right now for summoning. So if you were going to go summon for her, you do it now in the rate up banner. But I would, I would imagine NNL, Sotheby, and A Knight, and Voyager would probably be the most popular here that people would want. At least I'm, I'm, I'm assuming. Um, but we'll see what happens here with those. And then we have uh, limited packages for sale. $24.99 for those who are spenders. $37.99 and $2.99. Uh, you guys can see what's available. Of course, spend responsibly. It is the New Year's and Christmas time. So it is pretty damn tough on a lot of people uh, during the holiday season. So just be careful, okay? As you guys are aware, the Eternity banner is also out currently with Charlie and Click. Charlie is an incredible DPS. Eternity speaks volumes in terms of solo gameplay. Uh, one of the only units in the game, actually one of the few units in the game now, uh, that can solo content on her own. Uh, gorgeous, I love, I love this uh, insight too, by the way. Um, gorgeous character, great kit, um, incredibly powerful, and some people find her super cheap so uh in terms of the way she plays so there you guys go that's currently happening right now uh and then of course there's the um the fairy shining at night summon happening currently so just so you guys are aware of going on right now too um 
there is going to be a brand new banner dropping very soon for uh, Jessica, which I believe is seven or six days away. I think we're seven days away now. Let me just double check here real quick. I'm going to just go into Pride Win. Two seconds, guys. I know the banner is, is mentioned there. Let me just check it out here. Reverse 1999. Uh, we are, yeah, seven days away in 19 hours. So, I mean, eight, eight days away, right? So, if you are planning to summon for Jessica, you may want to save. Uh, depending where you are like look at uh, let's take a look here real quick where am i in terms of so i have 2000 clear and i have let's see i, I don't think i have any, four four summons only so i'm i'm kind of screwed on my free to play here and this has kind of been the problem here um because in the beginning i kind of <laughs> i kind of went crazy with my challenge account but now i'm kind of like behind on clear drops so i'm gonna have to do another limbo this week uh and clear out any of that that i can get and then hopefully have enough for at least two multis now the question then of course becomes, do I go Sotheby or do I end up going with um, Jessica? So chances are I'm gonna go with Jessica because she has limited banner. Um, and then for Sotheby, I may end up just hopefully getting lucky with her in a future pull. Um, I think that's probably the best course of action for me. So as much as I wanna do this golden thread summon, I just don't have enough as a free to play player to do so. And I'm not planning to break my free to play uh, I, w I want to maintain free to play, and I think that's very important. And I'm telling you guys now, like I'm still beating content with my with my three and four star units, so I'm not overly worried about having the best units out there. But I did want to do a couple showcases on some of these characters when they release. So that part's unfortunate, but there you guys have it. That's the brand new news. Make sure you are continuing to do a nightmare on Green Lake, farm those, clear out the shop. Remember, the new event will drop in seven days with Jessica, so we'll have a brand new event section opened up. Uh, and we can do additional things while we're there, uh, hopefully getting ourselves more tokens along the way. So that's the news, guys. I'm not sure whether you guys are planning to go for these golden threads. Let me know in the comment sections. If you are planning to go for golden thread one, two, or three, who who is your main goal? Um, this is so old. I got to update this. Um, and if you aren't going to go for that, is are you planning to go for Jessica? Is she going to be something you're planning to build as a poison unit or a poison team um i i have seen some videos from other content creators talking about jessica without sotheby and it's absolutely possible so it's still a, a probably a better choice to go with choosing jessica um but i know how much sotheby brings to the to the table to a to a poison team so i'm still on the fence on what i want to do but i'll probably end up going for jessica either way all right guys this is Payne. hope you enjoyed the video uh best of luck on the event i hope everyone's having a great day happy holidays if i don't see you on the reverse 99 uh, 1999 content side um but i'm hoping that you guys stay safe and enjoy your time with your families i'll see you guys in the next one take care